All right, Pisces, let's do a read for Pisces. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So sorry I didn't get a reading out to you guys yesterday. I was, I am <laughs> still sick. Uh, yesterday, my voice was like completely gone though. So yeah, yeah. it's coming back though. It's coming back. <laughs> all right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces Collective. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. All right. All right, Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? We got the owl. Uh, good advice from a wise person. So you may be receiving some wise advice, okay? Or from someone who's wise, all right? Or you may be giving some advice. <laughs> All right. The boat. Money or property. Money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. All right. Pisces. Pisces. What else do we got for Pisces for the next 72 hours, please? <laughs> Pisces. The wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Okay. So there could be some things that you're indecisive about here, Pisces, within the next few days. You may be seeking advice, giving, you know, asking someone who is wise, or maybe you need to. Okay, this could be um, <clears throat> surrounding some type of money or, or property. We have the apple. Temptation will test you. This has been coming out for a hot minute for you guys. Um, there's a snake in the tree, so be careful. Um there's some type of temptation that may test you. All right. Ant. Work. Work, achievement, and success. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. <laughs> okay. And the axe. Force is working against you. Well, damn. Invocation on the bottom of the deck. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what this is about. What's going on with Pisces for the next 72 hours? Next 72 hours, please, for Pisces. <clears throat> All right, messages for Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces? The Magician. So I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something here. Oh, five of cups. So you have all the tools that you need to manifest whatever it is that you're working on. Um, however, there is some type of sadness, loss, emotional distress, um, uh, so sadness over something that possibly you no longer have. Okay, nine of swords. Damn, this shit's keeping you up at night. Huh? Oh, so maybe something that you were manifesting. I don't know. The magician in the upright, though. Okay, so tell me more. Something here is keeping you up or you're worried about something. You're worried about something, Pisces. <clears throat> the lovers, Gemini. We got strong Gemini energy here, Virgo maybe. Um, the lovers. You could be worried about a partnership, a soulmate connection. Ace of Pentacles. This could be in regards to like some type of a new opportunity, a new beginning here. So you may have been trying to manifest something, but you feel like you're worried. Don't let fear or worry or um, fuck up whatever it is that you're manifesting, okay? You can manifest that into reality. If you're up, worried about something, worried about a lover, a partner, um, and about having some type of, you know... This may be in regards to getting, you know, getting your justice, getting something that is that is owed to you. What is the magician here? <laughs> I 
<laughs> the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> I don't know if someone's walking away from you or you're deciding to walk away from something here. Um, something that you were manifesting or working on. What's this five of cups? The world. Yeah, something here is over. Huh. It's a nine of swords. Four of wands. <clears throat> So I don't know if there's like a marriage that's over, some type of a partnership that's over. I don't know if you're deciding to walk away from this or something that you are manifesting, you're just like walking away from or something that you are manifesting is walking is walking away from you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing, but it was just funny how that came out. Um, there's some type of sadness here over, this could even be about something surrounding your home or some type of success, achievements here. You're worried about it. You're worried about, are you worried about having to walk away from something or walking away from something? Hmm. Huh. Show me the lovers. Six of pentacles. I don't know if someone here has choices in love or, you know, someone may also be giving to someone else or, Hmm. So it's like, I don't know if you're worried about like walking away or you're, you're sad that you have to, you know, walk away from something or let something go. Um, something that you were manifesting, something, something's over. I don't know if this is a marriage or something surrounding your home. There could have been also, this looks like someone's coming in to give something to you, maybe a gift or some type of financial support. Um, hmm. Or someone's worried about getting money for a home. Or so that they can walk away from something. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. There's something coming in. There's like a gift or I don't know if this is the temptation. Like, I don't know. What the fuck is this, Pisces? Is this like... Something good is coming in and you're like, oh no, I got to walk away from this, even though I, I've been manifesting it. It's like, I don't know. Are you walking away from something that you want? Like, what the fuck? Um, you're indecisive. I feel like you're worried that this is like some type of temptation. You may be seeking out some advice or trying to gain some type of knowledge about something. And this could have... Th th you have the boat out here, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Four of Wands, like these cards are in the upright, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, like something here is a gift, all right? Something here is like, you know, there's, there's loyalty. Something here is faded with the Wheel of Fortune here, this Ace of Pentacles. It's like, I don't know, someone's coming in with some type of stability or it's like something here is good. <sighs> I 
you may also be worried that someone's married or you may be wondering or like stressed out. I don't know. Who the fuck is stressed out? Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus? Hmm. Um, someone may be walking away from a Virgo it's, or Gemini maybe. Um, hmm. What is the justice card here for us? Because <clears throat> again, with the world here and then work achievement and success, it's like something here is you're doing well. Something here is successful. You're stable. You have money coming in, money going out. Okay, you're being patronized for your products, for your services, for whatever it is that you do. Something here is faded. You're stable, you're secure, you're good. But you're worried. Why the fuck are you worried? Hmm. I guess you probably got a good reason, but okay. Why is justice here? Like something here is your justice, the king of cups wanting to show itself in knight of swords. Someone's coming in with some type of, could be a Pisces, uh, Scorpio cancer, maybe coming in with some type of information, maybe even Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, maybe a Libra. This could be some type of harsh truth. Or someone maybe even just speaking their truth that, you know, they love you. Let me justice, please. <clears throat> Nine of Cups. See what I'm saying? Like, whatever this is, this is your justice. This is, like, your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. This is going to make you fucking happy. So, what's wrong, Pisces? What is wrong with you, Pisces? The Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You've got somebody coming in. Wanting to take control. They want to control you, Pisces. Ew. Okay. I feel like you are, like, trying to gain some type of enlightenment. And there's something confusing the fuck out of you. But it's like... Yeah, it's like something here is a happily... There's... Okay. Something here. There's, like, a new beginning coming in. Um, I don't know. You don't want to do it. And you don't want to work with this person. Yeah, you're trying to gain some type of enlightenment here. King of Swords. Well, that was weird. My light just went on on my phone and there's nothing there. Creepy. A creeper. Hmm. Okay. You got an emperor coming in, but I feel like you're trying to gain some type of enlightenment. You feel confused or there's some type of truth that, uh, or decision. There's a decision that's causing confusion. Why the eight of cups magician? <laughs> the fucking ten of pentacles, like what in the actual F? Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. It's like, okay, so you're going to walk away from the Ten of Pentacles? Something that you manifested? Is someone walking away from a marriage or a home or... Hmm. What's the world in Five of Cups? <clears throat> Some of y'all just may even be be worried or like. I don't know. Worried about success. Worried that something may actually go right for you. <laughs> Pisces. Am I talking to like a, a what do you call it? A hope, hopeless Pisces. All right. Some of the world five of cups. You guys may also be worried or fearing that someone is holding on to like another person or a marriage or a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn. I did say Virgo earlier. Or someone's walking away from a marriage, closing some cycle out. And there could be some type of emotional, like someone could be like crying, worried about their stability. Someone may, oh. 
If someone is walking away from something, someone may be worried about their stability. That Someone could be holding on to a Queen of Pentacles, like for financial reasons. Out of greed. Yeah. Okay. So someone may be in... All right. Okay, I see what's going on. So someone's <clears throat> someone's worried about or like crying over spilled milk because they have to close out one cycle to start a new cycle. Someone's worried about their stability because they have to walk away from the Ten of Pentacles. They have to walk away from something that, you know, may have in the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's being greedy. Someone was holding on to someone for possible or holding on to a marriage or a commitment here. Uh, King of Pentacles. Oh, so someone was holding on to something for financial reasons, holding on to a marriage or a partnership. I don't know if there is a business here. Damn, that dog was loud. Um, yeah, someone was holding on to something for financial reasons. Could be a Virgo. I don't know. But someone here is like, someone may be seeking advice or trying to get some type of like, Someone may be getting counsel as well or advice on a situation because someone was holding on. I'm, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Y'all get the point. Um, yeah. So someone's worried about someone's stability or they're worried about a home or a property. Okay. Someone may be inheriting some type of property or inherited something, some type of money or will. Um, but someone's indecisive. Someone's like, I don't know, like someone's worried up in their head allowing their life to ramble aimlessly. So it's almost like someone here is like sad because they have to like end something to have something new. And it could have, there could be a lot of finances. This could be even a marriage or a partnership that someone's been holding on to for financial reasons. All right. But someone here, the lovers, someone may be giving to two. So this is like, is someone stepping out? You got the queen and king of pentacles here. So I don't know if there's, you know, someone that's gay, because the lover's card could talk about choices. The six of pentacles can talk about giving to two, you know, um, if someone's being tempted by something else, maybe by a soulmate connection where there's a lot of passion. Someone may also be like worried that they have to pay some type of money or give some money for something. I don't know if it's for a child or for a family or for, you know, like, what do they call it? Alimony or something to that nature. But something will turn in someone's favor. There is forces working against the situation or working against you, Pisces, or working against whoever the hell I'm talking to. I don't know. But... <clears throat> There is forces working against this. Why is this uh, lover's six of pentacles here? A hermit. There is possibly a Virgo in this situation. Yeah, someone's like... There could be an investigator here as well. Looking into someone's finances. Or someone's like just investigating themselves or like tr like going within trying to figure out or doing the investigative work. Like someone's trying to figure something out here. There could be a feminine energy here who could be greedy. It doesn't have to be, but someone here maybe the person that they're dealing with or the person you're dealing with or you. I don't know. It's this King of Pentacles Wheel of Fortune. No. So the hanging man wanting to show itself three cups, the sun. Leo energy, seven of pentacles. So someone here is 
trying to get themselves unstuck, hangman in the reverse, so that they can have some type of celebration or invest or plant new seeds or uh, someone maybe taking a look at their investments or okay, that's why I'm not pulling multiple cards. Something here, there's going to be this, the, the, the light is going to be shed on some type of situation that someone was investing into or someone may be celebrating something or why is the King of Pentacles the Wheel of Fortune here? It's not for all of you guys. Show me the wheel. So Two of Swords. Someone here is like having a hard time taking action, making some type of choice or decision. They feel like they're in the dark or they feel like there's something here that, you know, um, that they're not seeing properly. Uh, someone may also be like um, not making a choice to communicate. Justice, Nine of Cups. <coughs> the Fool reversed. So, someone's like afraid to take a risk or. Um, someone's not taking, in the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Energy, Libra, there is going to be wish fulfillment. There will, something will turn out in a good way, but someone's fearing taking a risk. It's like fear of the unknown. Scared to, like, take that leap. Oh, my gosh. With this Two of Swords, it's like someone here is, like, indecisive or they're having a hard time making a choice or a decision here. And it could have to do with something financial. But what they don't see is something here will turn in their favor. Something will be, something here is fated or destined or, I don't know. Someone may also have... Um, Someone's North Node, maybe in Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what is this? Let me grab a different deck. What is this force is working against my Pisces? <coughs> force is working against you. This could, uh, there's some, okay. Really, ones? Can you like not right now? The sun could be a Leo or something here is going to be illuminated about something. Horses working against you. Every time I start to do a reading, she wants to like go do some stupid shit. The sun card, four of wands reversed. Yeah, so this has to do, whatever these forces, something here is going to be illuminated. Um, that someone here, uh, someone may be losing their stability, their finances, their homes, feeling left out in the cold. The light is going to be shed on a situation here. That somebody's not stable. Someone's, <sighs> someone may be homeless. That could be what's working against somebody. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So yeah, something that they were investing into or invested into is ending painfully. So I don't know. That's why someone is like, that's why someone is like having this fear and this worry and the sadness because in order to have something new, they need to end something that they were investing into and it's going to end painfully. So it's like delaying the inevitable. Someone's going to lose their stability, lose a home, lose out on finances. You know, if they have the Ten of Pentacles, okay, now they're the Five of fucking Pentacles. 
you know, something that they were investing into is going to end very painfully. Um, but it's like, if you want a new beginning or go towards your destiny, um, there is someone needs to take action, but someone's like not making a choice or a decision because of fear possibly. Yeah. Because of fear. What they don't know is on the other side of this is, is something really good. Buns, stop, man. Just walk around the couch. You can't chew your way through it. Thank you. I'm good. Someone trying to chew their way through a situation? <laughs> Like, what the fuck was that? Really? It's like someone's trying to go towards something that will emotionally make them happy. However, they're going to take a financial loss or something in order to be happy. So let's just live in fucking hell for a while. And see if anything changes. I don't understand. I don't necessarily know if it's hell. I don't see that here, but came out. What's up with this Queen of Pentacles down here, Spirit? What is up with this Queen of Pentacles down here? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. The chariot. Well, oh, that's fucking conflicting. It's like stop and go, stop and go. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse means something completely came to a complete halt. The Chariot means something is like full speed ahead. <sighs> Throw a shoe at you. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Chariot here? Something maybe surrounding travel or a vehicle. Someone, there could be travel delays. What's up with this uh, Queen of Pentacles, please? What is up with her? Mm. Oh. So the Empress, Taurus, Libra, maybe a Libra with the Justice coming out sideways. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, someone's holding on to someone for stability. Interesting. I'm getting another uh, like side backstory. I don't know what kind of story it is. Y'all let me know how it resonates with you. But I just seen some different. Um, I'm the problem, it's me. It's like, I don't know. Because I only see two people here. So it's almost like... Somebody manifested something and then walked away from it. Something that was very stable, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, this could be like a twin flame energy here with the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. It's like two divine counterparts, two business people, two people who are supposed to build a legacy. Oh, damn. That's why the wheel is here. Oh, I'm fucking catching on, spirit. This is great. <laughs> this is great. All right. So it's like the king and queen of pentacles. It's like two people who are supposed to build a legacy. Okay, something here was faded. This could have been a twin flame energy and someone walked away and held back from this. And they manifested it. Someone manifested, I don't know who did. I mean, you, her, him, she, they, whoever. But someone manifested this shit and then they fucking turned their back on it. They walked away from it. So yeah, someone left their like happiness out in the fucking cold with the loss of stability, betrayed somebody. 
and maybe started investing into a Cancerian or a Leo or fuck, I don't know. Let's just, I'm getting like so many messages. I can't even transmute them right now. Get them out, get them out, get them out. <clears throat> You guys hear that bird? I've never heard a bird like that. Sounds like a fucking squeaky toy, but it's a bird. Can you guys hear that? I wonder if it needs help. I can't listen to this. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to listen to it because it won't stop. But I don't think it's hurt. I've just never heard a bird like that. It's like, what, what was I going to do anyways? Go climb up in the tree and go save it? And fucking Pisces. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why the doctors never diagnosed me with ADD. It's like, squirrel. Okay. Jesus, take the wheel. It's like somebody here, uh, completely ended something. All right. So yeah, depending on whatever side of this you're on, sorry about that. I had an important phone call that I had to take. Um, whatever side of this you're on Pisces, I'm not quite sure. Um, With this Nine of Cups and the Moon card, that's the only energy I see out here of yours. So I don't know if someone got tempted or will be tempted by some type of temptation. I know this is a reading for the next 72 hours, but I feel like this is a story that for some of you guys, this may have already happened. For some of you guys, this will happen. For some of you guys, this is, uh, this, I don't know, what you need to know. Um, I feel like somebody has or had some something that they manifested. It's like somebody feared when it came in or when it comes in someone's fear, worry, maybe even guilt could take over. I don't know if someone had a choice between two and they chose the snake or someone tried to show somebody like a spirit guide may have tried to show somebody that some somebody was a snake. It's like somebody here manifested something really beautiful and then walked away from it and got tempted by a snake. Literally, a snake here, a snake there. Temptation, apple. It's like somebody here ghosted a situation for a snake. Or somebody is, you know, I don't know. Virgo energy. There's two snakes, one on the ground, one in this tree. And it's temptation. So someone got tempted by a snake. Someone was given to two. Someone held back for, or will hold back from the wrong person here is what it looks like. But the axe force is working against you. I feel like somebody, there's some type of work achievement, success, or some type of property inheritance, winning or windfall of money. The song that just came on is Glitch. I think there's been a glitch. Yeah, I think there was a glitch here. <laughs> For real. So I'm going to let this one go. Um, 
I'm gonna come back on and do another reading, see if I can pick up on the same energy and get more information. Um, I love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.